Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in to the video on this 2018 Ford Fusion. This particular Fusion is the SE trim level. It's the middle trim level for the Fusion. It's above the S and below the titanium and Ford's lineup. Do have that uh, pretty cool looking Fusion grill they started doing back in probably 2012 or so, somewhere in there. They really uh, took a, uh, almost copied the Jaguar front end uh, when they redesigned the Fusion. A really a good looking front end on this car. Um, coming around the side you'll see a uh, alloy rim there. In back, you have body color door handles and mirror caps. Matching alloy rim there in the back. All of your Ford Fusion and SE badging here in the back, as well as your chrome-tipped exhaust pipe down there in the uh, bottom right. Continuing up this side, you will notice on your mirror, you do have a uh, blind spot segment there. Just helps you to see into your car's blind spot without having to crane forward or crane your neck or turn. Uh, pretty standard Ford keyless entry here on the door. Uh, you can program whatever five-digit code you'd like to into that door. Coming into the inside, you will see your power windows, locks, and mirrors located in a standard fashion here on the door. The driver's seat is also a full power driver's seat with a lumbar adjustment. The base of the seat can go forwards, backwards, up, down, as well as being able to tilt forward and backs, backwards. Really helps you uh, get to be able to get comfortable in the seat. Back of the seat, of course, goes forward and back, and then your lumbar adjustment can support in and go in and out. Jumping in the car, you also see that the wheel, you unlock that there. You got your tilt adjustment as well as a uh, telescoping, telescoping adjustment there. So between those two things, you can really get yourself well situated in this driver's seat and just be comfortable for those long road trips that you uh, might need to take. Let's put the seatbelt on here so the car doesn't ding when I started. This is a push button start car. There are two keys for it. Uh, it does have your hatch release there, panic and lock and unlock. Um, when you put on the brake, you just press the button there. Pretty average miles for a 2018, just under 25,000 miles on the car. Um, so, uh, over here you'll see your menu navigation button, the right uh, menu navigation items. Under that, you got your cruise control functions. Over here, you have the Bluetooth controls. Um, in the center stack here, you will see uh, you do have a CD slot there. It has AM, FM radio, as well as XM radio. You can see that there. Pretty standard climate control functions down here, all of your air conditioning that you would expect to see there. USB and 12 volt outlet down there. And then of course you do have the turn dial forward shifter that they've had for the last few years here and the electronic parking brake. Just throw that real quick in reverse, just turn that and let you see the backup camera. Nice, clear, crisp backup camera and a little predictive line there to let you know how close you're getting to something. In the glove compartment, you will find not only the books, which are right there, but also the results of the mechanical inspection with the measurements of the key wearables that are on the car. Taking a look here, we'll see that uh, did an oil change in the shop. All the tires are 7.30 seconds at tread, which is about 70% of their original tread depth, plenty of life remaining in those. And the brakes are 11.30 seconds in the front and nine in the rear. Um, that's about three quarters or so of its original depth as well. Uh, we did do a brake service, take those calipers apart, lubricate the slides, take all the brake dust out and put them back together just to make sure everything is uh, working properly there. Turn the car off. Last part of the video here, just going to do a quick walk around, try to show you any dents, dings, or imperfections on the vehicle. Um, there are actually two tiny dents in here. I can't remember exactly where they are, but we have them scheduled to be removed by our paintless dent repair specialist uh, tomorrow. Um, so by the time you see this video, they'll be gone. Um, so I'll just try to concentrate on things other than that. Overall, pretty clean car. Just looking up here on the hood. Um, some little tiny marks there. Coming around this side, your wheel does have one, one gash right there in the wheel finish. Sitting back to the side, everything looks pretty clean back here. That wheel looks good. Overall, pretty clean car. Let's continue up this side. Wheel looks good there as well. All of your door panels and everything here, roof, all clean. This wheel here, also pretty good. No uh, big marks or anything like that. Overall, super clean car gets you pretty good fuel economy on the highway while still letting you comfortably seat uh, either four or five passengers and a good bit of cargo in the back. Uh, do have your all your basics, your alloy wheels, Bluetooth, cruise control, push button or uh, push button start, as well as power windows, locks, mirrors, and your driver's seat there with all those adjustments on it. Uh, just a nice, uh, good economy car with a lot of extra features and some extra room. 
If you'd like to stop out and look at it, you can stop and see us at 21518 Great Cove Road in McConnellsburg, Pennsylvania. Visit us online at thomasata.com or give us a call at 717-485-4224. Thank you very much for watching the video and I hope you found it to be informative.